day. He prays for six hours a day. But start with something simple. Read one Proverbs a day, one chapter. Pick out a chapter. Pick out the shortest chapter. Read Psalms 118. But just read something. You'll feel good about it. The Lord talks about that. We need to meet with Him every single day. Maybe, maybe you didn't read your Bible this morning. Now, me, I like reading my Bible in the evening right before I go to bed. So I read my Bible in the evening. But maybe, maybe you don't read your Bible at all. I want to encourage you tonight. Hey, every single one of us needs to always try to gain more knowledge every day. Hey, I've been in church. I'll be 27 next month. I've been in church for 27 years. Every Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, special meetings and everything. And guess what? Every time I go to church, every time I do my devotions with God, I learn something new. Amen. This book, you will never, ever learn everything there is to know about this book. Yeah. Yeah. But if you dive in, you'll always learn something new. Sometimes when I do my devotions, Ms. Joanne and I do some together as well, I'll read something and I'll, I'll pause in the middle. She'll look at me and say, what? What was that? And I was like, I never, you know how many times I've read that, Miss Joanna? And I have never, I've never known that. I've never seen that. Thank you, Lord. And you know what? I pray and I say, Lord, thank you for this time of devotion time. I'm so glad I got to spend it with you. Thank you for teaching me something new. Thank you for allowing me to gain knowledge from your word, the Bible. And I can use that later now. Hey, you know how many times that I've done that? And, 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 and not too long after, someone comes up to me and says, I'm having a hard time with this. And you know what God brings to my remembrance? The knowledge that I learned from his book just a few days ago. I said, you know what? Let me help you. This is what helped me. This is what encouraged me. Not, not only will knowledge of God's word help you, boys and girls, but it will also help you to help somebody else. You've got to have knowledge from God's word. So here's a simple, here's a simple thing tonight. Maybe you're here and you're not reading your Bible. I encourage you to read your Bible. Don't let your, don't let your head hit the pillow at night without reading something from God's word. Hey, I promise you, God will bless you for it. And Satan's going to hate you for it. But you know what? I would rather please God than Satan any day. Because Satan is evil. He's wicked. So I encourage you to read your Bible. And I don't want to ask for a hand to raise a hand, but I want you to ask yourself, do I have, do I read God's Bible? No, I'm not saying, yeah, I read God's Bible on Sunday morning during church and Sunday night and Wednesday night. No, 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 I'm not talking about that. You've got to be able to read the Bible every day and pray. And say, Lord, help me to understand. And sometimes, you know what? Sometimes I'll read through my Bible, boys and girls, and I don't know. I, I read through my Bible and I say, Lord, what did I just read? I don't understand that. All these, Meshavah and Elkixavah, we got, and was like, Lord, what did I just read? But you know what? The Lord will give you something out of it. But you have to want it. You have to ask God, Lord, please help me to understand what I'm about to read tonight. We read there, study to show thyself approved unto God. A word that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. The fear 